the new frontier in ai is text to video generation i have no doubt about that still we have a few models which enables you to generate videos from text but the length of videos is just under either few seconds or the quality is not that good that is where this model which is tech 2.0 attempts to help it can generate videos which are 20 second long plus it also makes sure that the video quality is of highest quality in this video i am going to install the open source version of this vichy tech 2.0 and then we will also try to generate video from text this model vichy tech 2 is developed by shanghai ai lab and it is an advanced video generation model designed to empower video creation it comes in two variants text to video and image to video at the moment only text to video model is available whereas image to video model will be uh, released very very soon before we do the installation first let me give a huge thanks to mast compute who are sponsoring the gpu and vm for this video for this model you would at least need a gpu of more than 48 gpu of vram I am going to use H100 GPU courtesy Mast Compute. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPU. So do check them out. Now, if you go through their project page, look at the videos which they have created with this model. Look at the quality and the detail of this video. let's check this one out i'm just going to play a few of them just to show you the quality of it look at this one looks really cool look at the colors the crispness and all the vividness of the image good stuff look at the motion look at the fur on this looks really cool and there are various other examples for example this is a text to video i was talking about 5 to 20 second but i think this open source model which we are going to install only generates under 10 second video look at this one how good is that you can just change it from here they have multiple examples and then let me show you the final one There you go. Good stuff. This looks a bit unreal, but that is fine. And as I mentioned, they have various other examples in high definition quality um, and frame insertion. Anyway, so let me take you to my local system where I'm running this Ubuntu 22.04, and I have one GPU card and VDI RTX H100, which has around 80 GB of VRAM. So I will be using this one, courtesy Mast Compute. Let me clear the screen. First step, let's install uh, or activate our Conda environment. I'm just calling it Vigitech Excel. Should not take too long. That is done. Let's activate this environment. Let me paste it here. That is done. And next up, we need to install. PyTorch and Torch Audio and that sort of stuff like Torch Vision with the Conda. Let's wait for it to get installed. This is going to take a couple of minutes. So let's wait for it. So the Conda environment is created as you can see in parentheses. Let me git clone the repo of it and then we will enter into it and that is done. Okay, now from here. we need to install all the requirements for that all you need to do is to run this pip command and it is going to install the requirements from the root of it so let's wait for it to get finished and while it is doing this installation let me take you to hugging face this is where they have shared their model uh, the x the uh, vichitech excel 2 billion one you would need to sign in and then from your profile you can grab the free token that should be the read token also make sure to just click on agree here there will be a button 
because this is a gated model so it means that once our requirements are done you would need to log into hugging face and i will show you shortly how but before that make sure that you log into hugging face and grab your read token after logging in from your profile in the settings all the requirements are done let's clear the screen let's install this hugging face underscore hub if it's not already installed i think it was already there for me and then let's run this command which is hugging face dash cli login it is going to ask you for the token which you have grabbed from hugging face dot co simply paste it here and then capital y and you can see that the login is successful let's clear the screen now we need to download the model from hugging face for that easiest way is to just to go to your python interpreter and then import sorry this is my token <laughs> now you see it but anyway i'll just rotate it that is fine so let me paste my command here so i'm just importing this snapshot underscore download and then i'm just going to download the model the copy paste in my virtual machine is really not good anyway so you see that it is downloading the model how good the speed is from mast compute okay so let's wait for this model to get downloaded there are only two shards as you can see the size of the model is quite good let's wait for it to get downloaded it has downloaded all the files of the model and this is the directory i believe where it has downloaded so simply copy this and then you can exit from here let me clear the screen so if you simply do ls dash ltr on to this directory you should see, okay so it says you can't access it so maybe it is not the directory i'm just going to go until here okay so let's check it out then so i am just going to go to my home directory uh -huh, i know what the issue is you see i just missed one slash at the start so i think that should do for us like this there you go so you see this is our directory where all the folders are so we need to save this path and then we need to run the inference simply like this python3 inference.py and test file save directory and checkpoint path this is the path with, where we downloaded the model which i showed you save directory this could be any directory where it will be so saving your video and test file contains your prompt let me take you to my vs code and i will show you these files so for example this is the prompt where i'm just giving it my prompt.txt this is the file i'm giving it and this is the output directory where it is going to put the video in once it's generated and it is going to take a bit of a time it is still running and while it runs interestingly enough it is creating some seed files in this output directory so let's wait for it to get created and I'm, then i'm sure it is going to merge this to create the final mp4 file and then we will see how it works so let's wait for it to finish so it seems that it has finished generating the video it took long time by the way around 10 minutes anyway and there are five files it has created let me play all of them one by one there you go so if you remember this was our prompt right like a little girl is riding a bicycle at high speed focused detailed realistic and then it has created it let me play one more there you go how good is that let's play one more high speed realistic nice okay this is really mind-blowing in the next example i have used the prompt a big male line running after a deer focused detailed realistic and you see that it has finished generating it let me take you to the folder the first one okay it seems that interesting okay let's try out this one but the quality is different from the 
project page, isn't it? But I think it's just open source one. Maybe a teaser for us. And deer is running. It's not really well formatted, I would say. Maybe I would have to properly do the... This one is better, but deer is looking toward line. And look at this one. Yeah, maybe prompt issue and then you see there is also some deformation. So maybe I would need to put some negative prompts there and then go from there. But anyway, fairly interesting, but it's not nowhere near this level, uh, as you can already see. And then if you go through other stuff, it's totally different anyway. So that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. And it took me around five hours to get this working to be uh, just uh, upfront because there are so many things uh, which I needed to fix uh, and because these instructions are not really well written in their GitHub repo. So make sure if you are following along, you pause the video and then you uh, try to run it as I am doing. Make sure that your PyTorch version is and Torch Vision uh, version are the latest ones. So that's it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are facing any issues, feel free to put it in the comments. And if you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.